Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another video. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Please consider subscribing to our family. Also, if you've been here before, thank you again for stopping by. Well, today's video is all about traveler's notebooks. Y'all, probably about a year ago, I think a year ago this month, I purchased my first traveler's notebook and it was a Moterm one. And um, it was $28 on Amazon. And I told myself, you know, if you can use this Moterm for six months, then you can go ahead and invest in yourself and get an actual traveler's leather notebook. Well, I think that lasted probably a month and I went ahead and purchased my first one. So excited. And since then, as you can see, yep, totally out of control. That's the way Lacey does it. So if you're interested in seeing my traveler's notebooks and um, I'm going to show you my setups and basically what I have in it and my thoughts about how I'm going to use them this year, then just keep watching. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we have our overhead and we are now ready to dive into these traveler's notebooks. I really have a love for these things. I mean, I really do. There's something special about them. I love the old world and how they make me feel and it um, gives me that creativity that I really needed. So for traveler's notebooks, um, we have standard traveler's notebooks and then there's the passport. And so I think I'm just gonna start with the standards first and then I'll get into the passports and show you what I'm using them for. All right, so the first one and I know y'all are saying, are you using all these at one time? Well, of course not, but I gave them all a purpose so I can at least feel um, good <laughs> about myself. <laughs> at least feel good. Okay, so this is not a traveler's notebook as far as by the traveler's company, but this was made by Mary Jane for me to fit my Sweet Freckles design. It is beautiful. Do y'all see this craftsmanship right here? And how gorgeous it is and I got this from the Traveler's Notebook so I mean it's not by Traveler's Company but it's still a Traveler's Notebook basically Traveler's Notebooks are strings so I've done disc I've done rings a little bit I don't really like rings that much uh, I've done bound I'm in love with bound and now I have strings but like I said I've been using this for about a year and I love it so this is my sweet freckles design and I want to show you this first so then we can really get into the, the TNs. But I'm using this one right here for my uh, social media. And so let me bring you down just a little bit as you can see. But yeah, this is uh, from Sweet Freckles Design. These are some stickers from Hannah's shop. And like I said, I'm using this for my social media, all for living with Lacey. I'm going to give you a little flip through of it. This is what the monthly looks like. And I love this planner because it is undated. And it's not something I have to do every day, but once a week I try to plan my content out. This is for the month of January. So we have our monthlies. Then after our monthlies, we have our weeklies. <clears throat> here we go right here. So this was, I started in December just kind of trying to, plan what I was thinking about cloth and paper and sweet freckles design I'm affiliates for both of those company and there's things I need to do and just what I what I really want to do with this channel so this is what the weeks look like and then we have a note section in the back and this is what I have my note section look like I just printed this out on uh, Canva and I have uh, brand collaborations. This is just a little sticker, but I love how this turned out. And so right now, um, who I kind of collaborate with is Cloth and Paper, Sweet Freckles Design, Norris Cove, and Exquise Creations. And I just wrote down the definition of collaboration. Um, I put down the time frame of how long I'm supposed to um, be with them. Um, and then this is, this was all about Black Friday. This is about December, January, what I needed to do for both companies. So anytime I receive something from Cloth and Paper or Sweet Freckles Design, if they want us to post something, this is where I write it. I just tipped in another um, dashboard. It says, make a habit of trying new things. 
So a lot of times I go on YouTube and, you know, I follow people that have great ideas. And this is where I write my notes about it. Um, this is how to use Instagram formats that someone had sent me and I wrote it down. Oh, you know, I got another page I'm missing too. Oh, this page right here. This is where it starts with the notes and it says align your actions to your goals. Got a little sticker right there. And this is my yearly goals and my monthly goals, weekly goals. And I will start working on my 20. 24 goals. I mean, I know what they are. That's how I even came up with these goals, but just specifically three goals for living with Lacey. And then back here, what I'm doing is I have a little dashboard and I write down my, this is stuck. I wrote down the goals for December, things I need to do. I put a little habit tracker for each week. Then the stats. I need to do the Instagram stats, but those are the stats. And I'm just doing this for every month. So this is December. And then the next one is January. So this is what the dashboard is. And I stole this idea from Joe. I like how he put this on here. Uh, put the, um, looks like the, the Polaroid picture on the dashboard. I love it. And I'll set my January goals. Yes, I know it's the what, 7th. I'm a little behind, but it's okay. And I have a little sheet right here of channels that I want to check out that are new channels to me. And I'll put my goals here and I have this section off. Then I have some content ideas, video ideas, and then um, in the back, some stickers and just another little dashboard. So this is what my social media planner looks like. Whoops. But I'm actually enjoying, really enjoying working. Uh, in this tin. Okay, the next one that I use, I did not show you this with my planner lineup, just like I didn't show you that one because I wanted to show you how everything looked in a traveler's notebook. So this is the blue traveler's notebook. It is my latest one. I plan on having it customized like one of my friends. She has a patch right here and then she has the rivets. And I saw hers and I just fell in love with it. So Gina, if you're watching, know that I was inspired. I saw her blue tin and I just fell in, I fell in love. So anyway, I'm going to have it customized just like her. I'm giving her all the credit for it. Though. So inside of this tin is my, um, oh God, I was getting ready to say Sweet Freckles Design. <laughs> inside this tin is my Sterling ink. Uh, this is the N one is that in one i think it's the in one and it's for the full year but it's compact so and i also uh, have the gold Let's see that i love the way this looks. i'm thinking about decorating this right here but something like very neutral maybe like tans and blues something like that but this is what it looks like when you open it up i use this daily my word of the year is optimistic and then, y'all, I'm in love with anything with this Kinfo book on it. But, um, and then I have a piece of vellum. Okay, y'all, I thought that my sound went out. Okay, so then you have a piece of vellum right here. It says you don't choose what you go through, but you can choose how you go through it. Choose joy. I just love the way this looks. I love it. And underneath it is another piece of paper that has optimistic and the definition for it and just 2024 and I put some craft paper right here but I love the way that looks then you turn the page there's another dashboard kind of with this old world books lights the city I just love this darkness and right here I'm gonna put a quote or a scripture for the year I just don't know what that is yet but I'm gonna leave it blank until I see or hear something that speaks to me and then haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this page yet might do another dashboard i'm thinking about doing a vision board that's really what i'm thinking about just kind of like these goals that i've written out right here just show them in a visual form so that's what i'm thinking about i sat down and did these goals this was kind of hard y'all but it's also very good so i'm going to start putting all these daily things in my plans um to make sure because i i um am already messing up i can tell you that right now 
<laughs> and then I'm using this as a tracker. I love that. And I've already set um, some priorities um, for quarter one and January goals. All right. And this is what December looked like. This is January. And then we'll go over to this is the first week in January right here. I haven't done anything in the back except put a little dashboard right here and joy. And then I put a piece of vellum. I'm trying to think, do I want to journal in here a little bit? Maybe like a daily journal. We'll see. And then I haven't attached this yet, but I'm going to just a craft folder. So this is my planner that I take with me every single day. All right, next. So uh, we travel a little bit, but when I travel, I want a um, TN that is specific for traveling. And last year I got an opportunity to purchase this, um, this TN, the specialty TN, the hotel one. And y'all, I was just, oh my gosh. When I say excited, excited. So when you open this one up, what I love, this is a insert from Yoseka Stationery that they collaborated with Traveler's um, Company and it's beautiful. I haven't decorated any of this yet. So y'all, I was, you know, I, it took some time. I don't know if you know, but I was sick with COVID my entire Christmas break, but it took some time for me to set everything up, get it like I want to, um, like I wanted it to be. And I really had to assess like what really worked last year. I didn't want to just have another year of setting up a planner because I saw it on Instagram or YouTube. I really wanted to set things up and what really worked last year and what didn't work last year. So. I don't, these are working for me, but this is so nice. So I'm using this for any traveling that I do. So last year, let me show you real fast. We went to Disney and we did a little traveling. And this is, this is how I did my memory keeping in here for Disney. This is my favorite page. This is my favorite page, a coffee house we went to in Pensacola. And so went to the Magic Kingdom. So much fun. We had so much fun. So this is still got to do some writing in here. I think this is my favorite day when we um, got to go to Star Wars. Yeah. So I'm still writing in those too. But it's okay. I realized that I love that. I love to be able to have a place that's just for traveling. And so that's what I'm using this for. Um, this is just a plastic cover and you can put some cards in here put nothing in there this is just another insert from traveler's company it's craft paper and i think I, I like to have at least two inserts and then this is where i'm keeping some of the stickers i'm also going to take some of my um so i saw this on instagram some of my pet tape and i'm going to cut it and place it in here so when i do travel i'll actually have some of my pet what do y'all call it pet or pet pet tape what does it stand for if it's P-E-T? Anyway, um, yeah, so this is the TN for traveling. And this is where I'll keep everything. Love it. Okay, next. I have this one right here. This is just, uh, this is another Sterling ink moment. Now, I might change this up because I'm not sure Well, I am sure I just I don't like opening this up and seeing this brown brown on the brown I just don't I thought about but if, if I got some kind of cover for it I could change it but I also didn't want to purchase another cover so anyway I'm thinking through it I could put it in another um, TN cover and that would be okay but this is my journal journal this is more like long form journaling so this is january right here and then this was my first entry um, to journaling and i have some more that i'm gonna do today but this is what it's for just long form journaling i love this is a notebook it's not dated and i can just put the date on here 
but I love the way that turned out. I'm also thinking right here, since it's 2024, I'm gonna put a little picture of myself right here. Yeah. And that's it. There you go. So that's what this is, long form journaling when I'm ready to say something. I'm trying to set a goal of journaling at least, at least four or five times um, a week. I would love to just journal every day, every day, to be honest. All right, I'm going to kind of set this up right here as a commonplace. These field notes as a commonplace notebook. Haven't gotten into that yet, but I want to. So... I just love these planners though. Well, I love my TNs. I love them. I am in love with them. And y'all, I was so excited. Um, if you if you followed me or uh, watched every uh, all the videos, I had a friend go to uh, Japan and she brought me some things back and I'll show you in a moment. I went crazy. I went crazy. Okay, so so this is what I'm thinking about. I could take this out and then put it inside of here and I don't have to look at that. Or I can buy another one of these. Um, I just have to remember where I purchased it from. But I saw this from uh, Amanda Lee Plan. She had her uh, Traveler's Times in, in one of these plastic covers and I love the way it looks. I love when I open that up. It's beautiful. But yeah, I might switch them out because I, I just think that would that'd be better. I think so. All right. So this is where I'm going to put my order. So if I place any orders, I like to keep the um, stickers that come with it. They call it ephemera. I like to keep that and I'll show you what that looked like last year when I had orders. This is the insert I use for orders. And I really enjoyed this. This is, I went to Drum Ghouls in Houston, had my receipt. I got to use the Houston stamp. And um, I went to Little Craft Place. So cute. And this is like the washi tape that I bought while I was there. So any orders, I went to Kino in Houston, but any orders that I received, this is what I um, tried to do last year. And I actually, I actually enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Anything that I bought, read between the lines. I got something for my birthday. This is fountain pen ink. Kino again, jet pens. Oh, this is where I got my um, TN customized. So nice. Yep, so this is, I really enjoyed getting those orders and this is what I'm using this insert for, for the orders for the year. I love this. This came from Planning with Kay. You can um, purchase these from her to cover up your craft um, folders or any of the inserts that you have. Like I'm thinking about ordering another one from her to cover up this page right here. And then this is going to be for any creative journaling that I have, any creative journaling I want to try. I want to try um, some watercoloring this year, doodling, I might use it for um, brush lettering, whatever, just whatever. Okay, then I got this accordion, y'all. This is an accordion, if you've never seen this before, but it just folds out, and I'm going to do a monthly review. Now, let me see if I can show y'all what that looks like. I have it somewhere. I started it and I did not finish it, but I'm gonna finish it this year. Let me see what I did with it. Okay, I knew I would find it. So I fell off and I, if I have some time, I'm gonna go back and work on it. But this accordion is gonna be my month in review. And this is what it looked like. Let's see, I printed this from um, the internet, found some pictures, but this is what it looked like. I love this. This is January when I found out we were having a, our first grandbaby. And then it's February. Love the way this came out. And so in this accordion, I think I can do two pages or I might, I might do two. Because I think I need two rather than one. But this is just the month in review of things that um, happened 
through the month. I went to a studio session and sang. Saw some old friends. Went on a trip. Oh, a friend of mine passed away. So sad, but we got to sing at his funeral. It's I love being able to just go back and look at this. I love it. And it's the creativity that um, I get to use. I love that too. Um, I was interviewed on a podcast, um, on the Jada Edwards podcast, and I um, used my little letters to say my story matters. Um, also right here, we had a the gender reveal for my grandbaby and found out she was a girl. Yep, and so and this was the this is the last month I did was May. Look at that. I started working on this. Let's see, May, June. Lazy in the summertime. Why? July, August. This is September. So I tried to do a different kind of layout. I paid for Go Wild. I think I can finish this though. I do. I can. I think I can finish it. I want to finish it. So I'm going to finish it because I, I actually love this, but I'm starting a new one and um, I'm excited. I am excited about this month in review. Okay, so you see, these are all my standards and they all have a purpose. It makes sense, right? I found another uh, journal that uh, I almost finished. I didn't finish, but it's okay. This was like my year of practicing, I want to say, my year of learning how to how to journal. I mean, I, in my journaling, I can tell it even improved um, even how I had things look. It improved over time. And so, y'all, I get so insecure to sit down here. And you know what it is? It's because I live on Instagram and I'm on Instagram and I'm looking at everyone else's and theirs looks so stinking amazing. And then I come back and I'm looking at mine and I'm like, it doesn't look like that. And I'm like, it doesn't have to. Stop with the comparison, Lacey. Stop, stop, stop. This is one of my favorite pages. Stop with the comparison. So, this was it right here. I almost finished it. Almost. And then this was um, grid paper. The grids were so large, though. So large. So, this was another one. But, like I said, it was a uh, learning. It was, it was me learning how to journal. There's no right or wrong way to journal. I'm just going to say that. It is basically the most important thing is that you are getting your thoughts down on a piece of paper. It's the most important thing. All right, so next, these little gems. Now, I told myself, self, you only need one of these. And one, two, three, four, and five later, here we are. But <laughs> that's y'all's friend, Lacey. All right, where should I start? All right, so let me just start with uh, the one I purchased first. So I think I bought this brown one first. I didn't want the brown one, I wanted a camel, but instead of me being patient, waiting on the camel, I didn't want to be patient. I wanted a passport TN, and so the camels couldn't find them anywhere. And so I bought, I bought this brown one. So I'm using this brown one, it has this, um, uh, Starbucks Reserve on it. I'm, I'm using this brown one, as you can see, for trips. When I go on trips, and they're like short trips, not not anything too elaborate that I go on, but we go on some short trips. And um, so I have here. I'm using this as a travel planner. And so and this is not really journaling. This is just writing down maybe like some of the things that I need to do. Um, or places we might need to go, but I'm just trying this insert out. That's what it's about, trial and error. And so, got a couple of stickers here. I might stamp that too, but, yep. Yeah. And so, uh, here's another insert. It's just craft, and I did the inside of this. Um, just a little traveling. And so, I'll use this for traveling. I can use this for uh, journaling if I want to or not. It just depends. It depends. And here's another one that says, let's go on a road trip. Got some suitcases and tickets right here. 
and that's what I'll use it for. So I know some of you are like, but you have a hotel one and then you have this small one. It depends on the trip. If I go on a long trip with my family, like Disney again, or we're thinking about going to Chicago um, for a week, I'm going to use my standard TN because I'm going to have a lot that I need to put on here. But if I'm going to Austin, Texas, which is only three hours from me, and I just have a little bit of journaling, meeting up with a couple of friends, I'm gonna use this right here. So we'll say that this one is more for my long trips and this is more for short trips. Okay, want to help? All right, then the next one I got, y'all, I finally, finally got a um, camel passport. Did I say caramel before? Camel, I wanted a camel passport and I finally got one. Now, let me just tell you this. When I got it, I did not like the texture of it. It's weird. I don't know if it's because I ordered it from Amazon and not from Travelers, but if you look at this one right here that I actually got from Japan, um, this one came from the Starbucks Reserve uh, Roastery. Y'all, the feel and the smell of it was nothing compared to this one. And so I was a little upset about how this one turned out until I saw Ada on Instagram. When I saw Ada on Instagram and that she stamped her tea in, I knew, I, I'm like, I can salvage it. <laughs> Look at this. I turned it into a coffee tea in. Oh man. And I used uh, Tim Holtz stamps. It's a whole process. It's a whole process. But when you open it up, Oh man, I love it. So I just have some um, pictures here of a coffee place I was in. Oh my God, these stickers right here, these came from the um, came from Starbucks Roastery in Japan. They probably cost $50 here. She got them for $9 or $7 in Japan. And I was so grateful. But this is what this TN looks like. I feel like I need to bring y'all much closer for these passports. This was probably the best coffee house I've ever been to. This is in Houston, Texas. It's called the Coffee House, and I love it. This is just some uh, black sticky notes, and I used Tim Holtz stamps and some ink and stamped that on here. And this is me and my daughter. Um, we went to a new coffee shop for me called Melby. It's pretty cool. I love when she and I, or my youngest daughter, we get to go to coffee shops. Uh, this was in Pensacola, a coffee shop I went to. So just use some stickers and pictures. Um, and I kept this one. I'm, I'm not starting a new insert. What I am starting to do is go to coffee shops at least once or twice a month and sit in there and work on my planning and things like that. And yeah what this looks like and the last one I went to we went to White Rhino uh, not too long ago and had a uh, coffee and snacks yeah and this is the next one I just need to write what it's for oh yeah Hannah from Sweet Freckles Design uh, she sent us a, a gift card and bought us a coffee so I need to finish that but that's what the insert is used for okay y'all I was online looking at um, Chicago Planner Conference. And I saw Aisha with a cup of coffee from uh, cloth and paper and it had the sleeve on there with CP. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> sent her a message and I was like, Aisha, because I'm like, I know you don't know me that well, but I, uh, I need that sleeve. I need that sleeve. And she was so nice. She sent me the sleeve along with some other little goodies. And so um, I'm about to uh, stalk her more and really be her friend friend. <laughs> so yeah. And then I have um, just a picture of my daughters in here. Uh, this also came from Japan, this coffee journey and what it is. They have these um, cards. You can try different coffees and you can just slide them in here. I think I'm gonna use this for, I have some coffee pet tape and I'm gonna cut that up and put it in here. All right, so this is once again, just a little dashboard I put together. 
and me just kind of journaling while I was at the coffee shop. And that's the dashboard. Got this is new from Traveler's Town. So cute. I love this color. But this is my coffee journal. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to take a, I, I have a picture today. My daughter came over today and made me an iced coffee in these brand new glasses that she bought me from um, Crate and Barrel. And they are gorgeous gorgeous okay so after I got that one then I saw my friend Stacy with my promise notes and she had a black one do y'all do y'all see a pattern here do you see a pattern that I keep seeing other people with I will save some money if I stay off of Instagram I'm gonna save some money and so I saw her black tea in and I was like oh my god it's beautiful she got it customized from Bon Cohen and it was just amazing. So I wanted a black one too. So here's my black one. Here's the black one. Um, and I just put a little tag right here. It also has coffee. I got this from uh, uh, Planning with Kay. I just, I already had that taken care of and I just wanted it to say coffee. I really wanted this black with this. Doesn't that look pretty? It's so pretty. It is so it's so pretty this right here is just for whatever I got it set up and like I said it has no purpose no purpose I have it set up and who knows what I'm gonna do with it but guess what it is set up and it's ready to go this is from Sterling Inc I wanted to see what their passports were like and this is it so who knows what I'm gonna use this for but it's set up if it doesn't get used, um, I think I'm okay with it. But it's gonna get used for something because I just saw that someone had a um, gardening tea in and I'm a gardener and I'm getting ready to plan out my garden. So I might can use this too. Now, does it have coffee on here? Yes, but that's my life. I can also take that out and move it because it's just the craft folder. I can move the craft folder, but this right here, I can change all these inserts out if needed or leave them just like this and coffee and gardening goes together. I'll drink coffee in the garden all the time. <laughs> all right, so then after that, the olive came out. Y'all, OMG, I had to have one of these. I waited and waited and waited until it was time and I got it. I love this olive, absolutely gorgeous. And this is the one that I decided to customize with uh, Bon Kuhin. And so I did that myself, but I had them put rivets right here. And then when you open it up, this is um, also came from Traveler's Town whenever you place an order for like $75. That's where I keep my cards. I keep other cards, insurance cards. But this says, the journey is the destination. And then this is a picture of one of my little friend's daughter. I love her so much. Picture of myself. I need to cover that with something. And then inside it has Sterling Inks passport. This is what this looks like. Okay, after I decorated this, I did not like it. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it. The Traveler's Town is so colorful. That's what it is, so colorful. Okay, made a mood board. And I glued that together because I'm not going to have any goals in here. Um, tipped in a little dashboard, 2024. And then I just put a sticker right here from uh, Stick With Kate, I believe. And I might set some goals in here for January, maybe. My main thing for this was just to have my monthly uh, here with me at all times. Not, I am not making this feel like a planner planner where I feel like I need to write in it every day. But I do like if I carry, I carry a little um, Bixby crossbody and this fits in it perfectly when I don't have anything else. But I also like to always see what is going on in my monthly. I have people all the time, oh, can you come and do this on this day? I'm like, I don't know. I need to look. But. I usually have this on me at all times. So that's the monthly. And then this is a sticker, sticker insert. This is the one I did backwards. No, 
this is the yeah sticker inserts not from Traveler's Company but I keep all these stickers in here that I can just grab on the go and then I have another insert in here and I just use these for dailies if I need to as you can see December January 1st 2nd and then nothing if I need to have a daily or something I need to write down and then in the back I have cash and a picture of my mom and a good friend of mine there we go so this is my olive I love it I thought I was gonna get stuck on customizing which I'm a little stuck on it um, but I only have one more I want to customize I really am happy with all of these but this is basically my wallet love it all right, and then the last one, I just got this one recently when my friend went to Japan, and I am so grateful for her and her husband. And so, oh, it, smell, it still smells good. Still, I think I got it in October, November, something like that. But Starbucks Reserve Roastery. And then I also got the clip. Well, not necessary. Let me take this off. What I'm using this for is my grandbaby. And so my grandbaby is five months now and I'm gonna do a little black, black, back planning of her, but this is gonna be memory keeping. And I started this with just her. I started with just like a special um, time, but this is just her. Um, she was six weeks old and then some things that she did rolled over diaper size one okay and then I added my mother in here she turned 75 so maybe it's kind of like birthdays or something like that I can use this for I'm still using it for my grandbaby but I went ahead and I put my mother in here <laughs> so pretty I'm talking about my mommy okay and then um, this was still for my mom's birthday we were all here for her birthday but then let's see i got this from traveler's town as well i'm gonna keep stickers in it um this is what i'm using for my grandbaby this is another accordion and so there are 12 places 12 pieces and i'm gonna do this all the way up to a year so she'll be five months on Monday, I'm going to go ahead and do one through five. I have pictures of her for every month, and I'm going to go ahead and do memory keeping. And when she's a year old, then I, um, I'll i just have a, an entry with her for a whole year of her life. But my other daughter is also trying to have a baby. This is going to be a grandbaby's book. Uh, and then maybe a couple of birthdays, special days. But it's going to be all about my, all about my grandbabies. And that's what it's for. Y'all, look at that. We have gotten through all of these TNs. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, I'm in love with... Uh, let me raise this up. I can show y'all this whole problem. <laughs> this whole problem. Now, I'm telling myself I don't need another TN. But can I just tell you this? There's one more that I want. One more. One more. I want the train one. That's the one I want. It's a passport and it's a train. And you're like, Lacey, what are you going to use it for? I'm going to use it for traveling. And then I'm going to change this one into something else maybe. And so anyway, this, let me just show you real fast. This is what, um, how I documented last year. And like I said, this was my first time doing it. And so um, this, I started in December. And this is Christmas last year. See, look at that, us, and then my mom. I think I did pretty good. This is Starbucks, and uh, this was my favorite drink during that time. This is making memories together. Christmas. Oh, my husband basically got us a Harley for Christmas <laughs> for uh, another one. We both each have our own. This is my friend's baby who I love so much. My cousins came over and my aunts hadn't seen them in a long time. My kids on Christmas day went to go visit my grandbaby over the break of a Christmas break. I should have put this some, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I went to go visit just my son and his girlfriend on Christmas break. They came and saw us in January and gave us 
a surprise. Yeah, that's what happened. And this is my husband and I on spring break, going to the movies and hanging out with my cousins. But as you can see, it's just my memory keeping. Um, I put right here, God is always with me. I was so scared. Hadn't flown in so long. Okay, and this is from MJ um, when she made my planner cover. Yep, and so squeeze creation. Oh, living with Lacey, is this where I got? Oh, I finally got 4,000 subscribers. This is. Bon Kuhin again. So anyway, this is just my, oh my gosh, I, I met Amanda Lee Plans and um, total, total fan. So anyway, the coffee house I went to. So I think I did pretty good with the memory keeping. Pretty good. Yeah. So that is it guys for my collection of Traveler's Notebook. I I love these, I'm telling you. If you ask anyone who really knows me, some of my planner friends and my planner besties, I love my TNs. And so I'm excited to have them and incorporate them into my planning and into my life. So if you have any questions on any of these TNs, again, about how I'm using them and what I think about them, as you can see, I love them. Uh, please just let me know um, in the comments below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please consider uh, hitting that subscription button and subscribing. If you've been here before and you keep coming back, I appreciate you. Click on the notification bell for any new videos that are coming up. And so don't forget, take charge of your life one plan at a time, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.